hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is eliza at eliza journals if you're new here welcome if not welcome back so today we're going to just be doing a review of serica studios notebooks and i think that these notebooks deserve their own video so i am just going to show you what i pre-ordered from serica studio and i will link everything below in the description box and if you hear my fan you already know why so if you're new to my channel most of the times i always have my fan on i try to have it on low so that you can't hear it but it's like really really hot in the house um <laughs> and so now back to what i was saying um so yes i really think that this these notebooks deserve their own video because i really just think that they're so beautiful and I really didn't want to put this in another video because I just wanted to show you something else that I bought just for these. <laughs> so without further ado, um, so if you go on Serica Studio and I will link her website below, I'm not in the, an affiliate for her or I don't PR for her, but I can link below some of her affiliates that I do know that do follow me and I follow them and i didn't use their code at the time because i think she just started having a rep team but i will link all that below in the description but when she put a she put like she i think she had a reel out on her instagram and i was like oh my gosh when i saw these i was like oh my gosh i have to get those and i think she had some before but i really really love the ones with the rose and I was really, I've never really been into traveler's notebooks. I've tried, but I'm like, I just can't, I don't know. I just can't get into, I just can't get into it. But I'm next for next year. I'm really trying to just do something different. I really want to, I guess, change like my planning style of notebooks. So that's why I'm moving into the rings, into the, like the covers um because i just want to try something different other than binded notebooks i mean this is binded but i'm you know i've never really done the traveler's notebook size i've always done like a five a six but i've never really been comfortable enough to try a different size so when i saw this on her channel so this is a standard traveler's notebook size so this will not fit into like a hobonichi weeks cover you will literally have to get a traveler's notebook companion um, in order to fit this standard size. Sorry, y'all. Let me move this because I think that is in the camera and you can actually see it. Um, so I absolutely love it. I love the gold foil on the front. And then on the back, she has her um, the name of her company, Serica Studio 52 GSM Tama River Paper Notebook. And the it's so amazing like it just is very soft like even though it has some texture it's very soft and i chose black because black is really the color theme or the, i'm sorry the color scheme that i'll be going for for next year so everything that i purchased has actually been black except for a couple things but we're not talking about that in this video so i really love the paper the paper is oh my gosh the paper feels so good and i love smooth paper because i love paper especially tomo river paper tomo river paper is really really good with fountain pens it behaves really well with fountain pen inks but i would highly advise you to always do a pen test so i'll use this last page to do a pen test in the back because sometimes some inks are just wetter than others and it also depends on the brand and the nib so i'm learning a lot about how certain brands of ink and certain nibs react differently with ink and then differently on paper so some of my fountain pens i can give you an example like my twisbees my twisbees are very juicy it doesn't matter what ink you put in it even though i write with extra fine it writes very heavily on tomo river paper so I probably won't use a Twisby in this, um, but it just depends. I love my Twisby, so I'm probably going to end up using them, but I may have to just choose a drier ink for those when I write in this. So I absolutely 
absolutely love 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 this traveler's notebook size so i may be using this in addition to my sterling ink in one so i don't even know if i'm going to use that right now but i now that i've gotten this i wish i would have just ordered more of these because it's just it's it's so beautiful like i absolutely love this and i think this one was 15 dollars, which is really not bad because that's very comparable to anything that you will purchase on amazon i really love it because it's made with love like you can tell that she has so much passion for what she does and to be honest i would rather purchase from a small business than a bigger business i just i absolutely love this so it contains 110 sheets, 50 pages, and it is 3.5 millimeter grid for people like me who have small handwriting and need something a little bit smaller. So this is like comparable to like the Hobonichi Techo grid. Um, I think that it might be the same. So if you have a Hobonichi Techo, like the five year, it's very comparable to that grid size. And I think that grid size may be a four, but don't quote me because i don't want to lie to y'all um but i absolutely think that it is very very comparable to the hobonichi techo grid because i have one and the gridding looks the same so now we're going to move into the passport size um notebook so of course i of course i had to get the same design so this is the rose design so if you go on her website it's the rose design so i got this in black and she has different colorways. She has white, green, gray, and then she also has some without the designs on the front. So they're just pretty much like plain covers. So this is pretty much, I bought four of these and it's 3.5 millimeter grid as well. So it's pretty much like the same like this. It's just like cut in half. And I absolutely love this. And I paid $10 for each of these, which is not bad. So that was pretty much like $40 for four notebooks, which is very, very comparable to other retailers. And I absolutely love, I mean, oh my gosh, y'all, y'all cannot even understand how happy I am to actually get these. And I'm going to show you how happy I was when I even pre-ordered these, because when I pre-ordered these, I ended up... <laughs> i've never been interested in passport size because i've always thought that is way too small for me to write in but serica made me a liar so i'm gonna move this out of the way and then i'm gonna show you all what i bought the day i purchased these passport notebooks i literally went on amazon and i've had this in this box for a whole month because i was literally waiting on these to come before i even unbox this to make a video I had already planned to make a video even before I received them. I know, crazy, right? So this is a Moterm. This is a passport size cover. And usually with Moterms, they always come with these um, passport size notebooks in here. Comes with a dust bag. And I can link this below um, in my Amazon storefront in the description. And it comes with like these extra bands which I have to YouTube how to put that on if they ever break, but I really don't care. I was just super excited to get these. So like I said, it comes with a pocket. Pretty much Moterm has like a standard way of making their covers, whether they're, so if they are covers, they always have this back pocket in these little mini secret secretarial pockets on the side and the, like these card slots and has a pen loop and i love that this pen loop has elastic because my fountain pens y'all do not be fitting these pen loops and i really really hate it so it has a snap closure which i really really love and this is the pebble design and y'all know if y'all been around my channel i am a crop print girl i really do not light pebble but i settled for it because i really couldn't find anything else and this was way more affordable than the crop print ones that i saw i was not trying to spend a hundred dollars on a passport size cover i'm just i'm not gonna do that so and so these i think is it's a line dotted one and like a graph one or grid so i'm gonna take these out 
and i probably will end up using these in conjunction to this i don't know yet though because serica is a whole vibe so i don't even really want to like see that that no see that just messes up the whole aesthetic um <laughs> So I probably will use these, but I'm not really sure what for. Maybe I'll just include these in like a giveaway because I just, I don't want to waste them. I know I'm not going to use it. I mean, I could, but comment below if like, if you have some ideas of like what I really could do with these, maybe I could use these for church, like take some notes or something. I don't know, but that means that I would literally have to order passport cover if I use this one so yeah i don't know so just give me some ideas in the comments below okay so we're gonna insert these into here so this one only has three so i will only be able to fit three in here which really sucks because i i really thought it was four so i'm going to insert these in here y'all i've been so excited to get these i literally ordered this thing literally <laughs> i ordered it i mean the moment i ordered these i literally ordered this and i have zero regrets because i already knew that i was going to be using these and i absolutely love it these are so adorable like i absolutely love these Oh, this is so cute. I just look so official Serical Studio-ish. <laughs> but she has like the cutest little covers. She has those um, leather covers that patina really, really well. And like, if you've never seen her YouTube channel or you don't follow her Instagram, go follow her. Like her stickers are amazing. So to be honest, I already have organized her stickers in my sticker books so i really should have got a couple out well actually i'll be right back okay i'm back so as you can see i've already organized them i put mine in protective sheet covers and like mini binders but these are her stickers so they're super super cute so i will be using serica studio stickers in Serica Studio notebooks because it just doesn't feel right if I use someone else's stickers in her notebooks. <laughs> so these are super cute. So these are still on her website. So you can check these out and I will actually link below these sticker links in the description if you want to go check these out. And then you can use one of the reps codes that I link below and i'm never using this color wheel this vintage color wheel oh i'm never using that because it's so beautiful even though i want to i i probably would never never use it because it's super cute so those are her stickers so i will be using her stickers only and these notebooks and y'all i'm so excited i cannot tell y'all how excited i am to actually use this i've never had a passport and i think i'm really excited because i never had a passport notebook at all because when i look at these i'm like okay those are super tiny like what what exactly am i gonna write but literally now that i see it you can actually write a lot in here i mean you really can especially if you have small handwriting like serica and i but anyway so just let me know what your thoughts are about the notebooks would you purchase these do you like the greeting size do you like the design on the front and i advise you to like check out her shop and go support her business so thanks for staying to the end of the video until next time bye